So today we're off to the library and it's going to be a reading kind of day. It's rainy. We can't play outside. We didn't get much reading in yesterday. Um, I told you all about our day yesterday. It was mainly outdoors, birds, butterflies, ants. Uh, we read a big section of the nature study book on ants while we were preparing our ant farm. And, um, then at night, it started to rain. The wind was crazy. We all stood at the window and watched it during dinner. We all got up and ran to the window. It was crazy windy and rainy. And so we stayed in and played Battleship as a family. It was so fun. And now today is gonna be all about reading. We're just getting to the library. I'm super excited about some stuff I wanna check out and um, maybe get some more of the DVDs that I um, saw last week but didn't check out. I'm just excited about some of the classic movies that they have available here. And uh, check out the books on audio again. I've really enjoyed having the poetry in the car and the just so stories and the Beatrix Potter tales. Um, good stuff. Um, they have the Chronicles of Narnia, but I want to get those with a little bit of the, with like the theatrical voices and music and stuff, just because I think it'll be a little bit more entertaining than some British guy talking for five hours. So I think we're a little excited. We're going to get out, get our library books, run by the farmer's market on the way home for some meat and get home and eat lunch and read, read, read got some good stuff today. We're going to listen to Little Women in the Car. I know it's a girl thing, but it's not. It's a rich, good classic. I love it. Gulliver's Travels, the shorter kind because we still have Little House to finish, so I don't want to get a huge chapter book and find myself not being able to finish any of them. Stories from Around the World. This has a bunch of good stuff in it. Um, My dog is in that it has some of the ones we might recognize. Puss in Boots. Man, I don't recognize many of them. Which is cool. New good stories from around the world. The Four Brothers. Oh, no wonder I recognize that. That's from Spain. Um, so that's going to be fun. The Emperor's New Clothes. Never read that. We've read this, but they love Aesop's Fables, so Aesop's Fables, and then a, a little Beauty and the Beast. They have enjoyed that as well. So, oh, and for some reason, I always go to Jan Brett stuff. I guess I just like her illustrations. They're really, like, unique. I don't know. Cool, and I love her wording, too. So, that's what we got today, and we still have Little House to finish. We've got at least six chapters left, so... Hopefully we'll finish that soon. I'm gonna pop this in and head to the farmer's market. So, we're home after the farmer's market. We were, we ran into another friend that was buying some meat as well and we stayed and chatted for like 20 minutes. Uh, she's a good friend, another homeschool mom, has four kiddos and um, they start school next week. So, their life's about to get busy busy she's got older kiddos than me so anyway we got some the last of our malanga boiling for lunch so I can make some mashed malanga some chickpeas being sauteed in olive oil curry and turmeric I put turmeric as well just so that it's um, got the curry flavor but then extra turmeric a little salt a little pepper and then some avocados and tomatoes for lunch and it's gonna be delicious and nutritious. And then after we eat, we'll probably get started. Um, I don't know. Part of me wants to just finish Little House on the Prairie today, like just read the whole rest that's that we've got left, and then go ahead and start um, looking at our library books tomorrow and the rest of the week. We'll see what happens. It's rainy so far. My kids have literally been sitting looking at books all day and it's already 12 so I'm hoping that um, we can figure out some fun physical activity in the house <laughs> and um, we'll see how it goes we got dressed up like Ninja Turtles <laughs> the game is on <laughs> lunch is almost ready I have everything served except the malanga
Yeah, me. Stuff, seriously. It's like the best ever to me. It's a shame how far away I have to drive to get it. But it, then it, it's a huge treat when we do have it, so it's cool. And sometimes they don't look good. But this time they were beautiful, so we got a few. Oof, it's so hot. My dishwasher's drying and the spatula I just grabbed from it is like super hot. Malanga. I made, oh, I told you guys what I made. Chickpeas and tomato and avocado. I love the way avocado goes with um, anything curry. Like whenever we make curry chickpeas and rice, I always put avocado next to it. It's so good. It'll look like I'm serving them a huge portion, but my kids eat, man. They eat a lot. And I guess since the food I give them, you know, it's not very dense. So they need a lot to get full. But they eat a lot. So this is lunch today. Some malanga. I put salt, pepper, and olive oil on the avocado and tomatoes. And then the chickpeas are nice and crispy. Delicious. Oh, and somebody asked me what I eat. I eat the same thing the kids eat. Like... My lunch looks just like theirs. And um, for breakfast, I had toast with a fried egg and strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries. And for snack, I usually don't have a snack, honestly. But if I do, I'll just grab a fruit, usually. Um, or a complete shake. And that's like the same as them. I think the thing that they eat the most that I don't eat is trail mix. I'll grab a few nuts and raisins while I'm serving their trail mixes, but I usually don't have my own. I just, I love cashews and I guess when I'm standing there preparing it, I eat enough. <laughs> I don't need to serve myself one um, of my own. So that. And then that's really much it. I don't really have snacks very often. I'm so busy that I can't think of food um, during my day. But um, today is looking like it's going to be pretty relaxing. I'm trying to think of what housework I could get done because I'm doing laundry, but I could probably do something else too um, since we're just home doing nothing. I guess maybe I could paint my... It cut me off. Maybe I could paint the baseboards and the window trim and stuff in my living room because we finally finished painting the dining room and the living room. Everything looks almost finished. So I love it. It looks great. Oh no. So we read two chapters of Little House. We actually have nine left. So now we have seven left. And we could probably read another one tonight. And a couple tomorrow. Just trying to get it back to the library. Finish it also so we can start other stuff. I'm so excited for all the other great books there are to read. And um, they're going to play for a little while now. And then maybe we'll go see if we can find some ants again. We need to get outside. And even if we don't get to see the ants, I'm sure there's a lot of worms <laughs> that have emerged from the soil, from the rain and snails and slugs and there's birds everywhere eating them so we can observe that for a while i also want to read a little bit of the nature study stuff uh, about ants this is a great book it's part of the charlotte mason curriculum it's a handbook of nature study and it's really fat and i haven't really looked into it much until yesterday so i'm excited just to like have started already something so we're gonna do ants for sure and butterflies next and then um, insects in general <laughs>
that song. And then um, A Mighty Fortress. I love that hymn. If you don't know it, Martin Luther wrote the lyrics.